This is the 20th year of the grazing conference. Hard to believe. But with the prices of fuel and the prices of inputs, the whole idea of getting your livestock to harvest the feed for you uh, is just resonates with people, and as it should. I mean, it's, it's something we know in Kentucky. We can do a lot of it. The grazing season uh, can be extended. Uh, our forages are, are well adapted to grazing. So it's just uh, uh, kind of a, uh, the right kind of topic at the right time for us. I feel like the highlight of today's conference was that we're bringing together the plant, the animal, and the soil. And it's important to understand that the soil is much more than just chemistry. I mean, it's a living entity. And it's so crucial that we're managing all three of these things together as, as one unit. Uh, we have different producer speakers each day, but we have our featured speakers, uh, Ray Archuleta, who is retired in our CS, uh, spent a career explaining soils and, and working in soils, and is really a gifted individual in terms of opening up probably a world of things we don't think about. The soil is absolutely alive. It is absolutely shocking what I have learned that I really did not understand that the soil runs on intelligent design. It is the most complex ecosystem on the planet. I think the other highlight for me is the amount of young people we had at today's conference. We probably had, I would say, two dozen people under the age of 30, and you just don't see that at traditional extension meetings. And that really tells us that we put together a conference that really attracted people who were interested in in doing the right thing on their farms, in improving their management. Thinking about potentially doing the bale grazing, because while we do roll out our bales during the winter, um, it seems that some of the things that I was taught uh, by my dad or that some of the preconceived notions for with, like having the bales outside during the winter and everything might not be as bad as what we thought it would be. And we finish up the day with Jim Garish, who is nationally known, internationally known consultant, but he started his career uh, as uh, a researcher at the University of Missouri on a, 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 a farm, a research farm called the Forage Systems Research Center. Jim was the originator of the three-day grazing school that we copied uh, and we still run here. So let's take the big jump and say, we are, we have figured it out. We're gonna graze 365 days of the year. So if you're not going to make hay and you're going to graze 365 days of the year, you have just cut out the operating cost of hay making. We're glad to have him back in Kentucky. He's actually a UK grad and he knows Kentucky and he knows grazing. And you put those two speakers bookending, you know, a program full of producers and some of our best uh, people, Greg Halich, Les Anderson, Nick Roy, agent in Adair County, Fred Thomas, working with him as a, as a producer. Uh, you, it's just been a great couple of days for us. We are so happy to have everyone at, at this year's grazing conference. Um, we're looking forward to next year's grazing conference already.